Here's another good one. So my husband and I have been married for almost 20 years. Well, my husband tells me, and he tells this story all the time, that we met really kind of out of, little, out of a little bit of sort of serendipity. So my husband comes to Atlanta to interview for a job in Atlanta. And when he gets to Atlanta, he had a really good friend that I played tennis with pretty often. So he and a bunch of other guys, we all jump in a car and we go to, shockingly, a sporting event. So we go to this wonderful sporting event and we're there and, and we're talking for about four and a half hours. I'm literally talking to my now husband, Fred. And we're connecting and we're talking and we're bonding and it was awesome. And at the end of the night, I dropped my husband and all his buddies off and I went back home. And he didn't ask me for my phone number. I was like, wow, I thought we kind of connected. <laughs> Two or three days later, he calls me back and he says, uh, hey, Molly, listen, it was such a pleasure to meet you. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm Fred. And I'm thinking, did I remember you? Yes. <laughs> he said, uh, listen, um, you know, I think I got that job and I'm going to be moving to Atlanta and I'd love any advice you might have on, you know, great places that I could live. And I said, well, where's your office? And he tells me, and it's about two miles from my apartment complex. And I said, well, and I rattled off four or five different apartment complexes, one of which, of course, was mine. <laughs> so he moves in next door to me. <laughs> I'll never forget the moment I'm sitting on my couch in my apartment and my phone rings and my husband calls and he says, hey, listen, I'm so excited. You know, I got that job. I'm moving to Atlanta and I actually I'm living at your apartment complex. He said, I said, wow, that's awesome. I said, what apartment are you in? And he said, I'm in 5306. And I went, oh, well, I'm in 5307. <laughs> I thought, well, this is going to be convenient. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, we dated for a year because my mom said, you got to go all thro through all four seasons. And she said, don't you dare put a ring on her finger until they go through four seasons. But you know, 20 years later and three beautiful girls, the truth is, had he not lived next door to me, I'm not sure that would have worked because I never stopped. I was at spring training, I was at events, I was following my guys around, I was taking them to appearance, appearances, it was 24 seven. And I might have missed that opportunity, that moment, had he truly not been right there.